Ask Reddit by Carla Rees. What movie did the strong female trope write? Fargo. Not sexy, not crazy. Just methodical, competent and right. The Silence of the Lambs. Yes. There is so much Clarice had to deal with Remen not taking her seriously all through the storyline. Then she figures it out with her bestie. Terminator 2. I love that Arnold has said that she's the star of the movie, not him. Linda reached out to him to help her work out, apparently, so she could be a totally different Sarah Connor in the sequel. For that reason, watching those movies back to back is always a great experience. Her voice changes at the end of the first movie as she begins the most insane mission ever, but you can tell she's just getting started. In Terminator 2, she is such a badass, but also mentally broken. It's hard to make all of that believable in a single character, but Linda did it. Alien. I love the meme from this. Suo I have been writing reviews for about 10 years. My wife's review of Alien puts everything I have ever written to shame. Alien is a movie where nobody listens to the smart woman, and then they all die except for the smart woman and her cat. 4 stars. Laura Dern, Jurassic Park. Seeing a strong woman in science at such a young age had a profound impact on me, and I truly think it's one of the reasons I am a scientist today. And Lex saved the day with her computer skills. Fried Green Tomatoes gives you a selection of them. So does Steel Magnolias. X-Files. I can't believe I haven't seen that yet. She was highly intelligent with a strong confidence that couldn't be beaten down by the sexists in the early seasons nor the crushing but invisible power of the syndicate. She's always one of my first thoughts when someone asks this question. She's smart and doesn't let anyone make her feel less than. She knows who she is. She's kind and patient with others but takes no bullshit. She doesn't let being in a boys club push her into trying to be one of the boys nor will she accept any misogyny. She's dedicated to her job and to her partner. Between her and Mudder she's actually the trigger happy one. She also of course influenced a lot of young girls to go into STEM fields, see the Scully effect art. The Adams Family. Morticia, I'm just like any modern woman trying to have it all. Loving husband, a family. It's just, I wish I had more time to seek out the dark forces and join their hellish crusade. Emily Blunt in Edge of Tomorrow. She said before that she won't be in movies where the script mentions strong female character as the selling point. The Long Kiss Goodnight, 1996, with Dina Davis was great and doesn't seem to get much love. You're going to die screaming. Am I telling the truth? She was, in fact, telling the truth. My cousin Vinny. Imagine you're a deer. You're prancing along. You get thirsty. You spot a little brook. You put your little dee lips down to the cool clear water. Bam. A fucking bullet rips off part of your head. Your brains are laying on the ground in little bloody pieces. Now I ask ya. Would you give a fuck what kind of pants the son of a bitch who shot you was wearing? Not a movie but Kim Wexler in Better Call Saul. Edit, thank you so much for my very first gold. I wish I could upvote this more. The Emmys did Rhea Seahorn wrong. Her performance in the entire series was incredible. Rachel Weisz playing Evie and the Mummy. Take that, Bembridge Scholars. Evelyn, look, I. I may not be an explorer or an adventurer or a treasure seeker or a gunfighter, Mr. O'Connell, but I am proud of what I am. Rick, and what is that? Evelyn, I am a librarian. Mulan, the Disney animated one. One of my favorite things about Mulan is that she's not the hyper-masculine female lead who's just as good as the men at everything. She was a young woman in the army, no. She was not going to be as physically strong as the men. 
She saved China because she used her strengths to her advantage. I think that that's much more valuable to young girls than some emotionally dead, over-sexualized character who has no visible flaws. I'll vote for doubt. Meryl Streep plays a nun who investigates a priest who may be getting too friendly with a student. Different kind of strong. Different kind of female character. Edited correction. Who may? Viola Davis's character too. She doesn't back down when confronted and firmly explains her reasonings for her perspective. From the outside, one could perceive her as weak because she isn't behaving the way one might but she is in fact strong in her motivations, whether or not you agree. Legally Blonde I love this one because it's a great deconstruction of how more feminine interests and hobbies are perceived. A girl can be ultra feminine, be super into stuff like fashion and tiny dogs and carry herself in a certain way, and still be clearly intelligent and capable. Edit, oh, and also because she has an actual character arc in the movie too. That's super important. It's not enough to write a character who is just good at stuff. That's easy. Making them a growing and evolving human in a believable way is the hard part. Howl's Moving Castle This, along with most Heiyo Miyazaki films. Princess Mononoke is another great example. Miyazaki is superb at giving his female characters a subtle stubbornness, which he models from his mother if I remember correctly. Arrival Oh man this movie is so good. I still catch myself thinking about it often totally mind blowing. Mulan 1998 Winter's Bone If we're counting female characters who are strong in the sense that they take responsibility under adversity and not just a woman who acts like a macho dude and can beat up men. Yes. So good. The knowing she can't count on anyone, even her family as they've let her down so many times. Just gritting her teeth and getting it done. Jackie Brown Jackie played them all and never broke a sweat. Surprised this hasn't been mentioned yet but three billboards outside Ibbing, Missouri. Man, Francis McDormand was a powerhouse in this movie. One of the best crime dramas I've seen since Prisoners. Steel Magnolias Oh I watched that bloody movie recently and made myself sick from crying. Such a great movie. I thought Mad Max, Fury Road did a good job. Not making Max and Furious a love interests, not even a hint of it was pure genius. Fargo. Marge does it all with pluck and whilst suffering from morning sickness. Terminator 2. Sarah Connor. Not without my daughter starring Sally Field. Even better because it's a true story. League of Their Own A lot of Ghibli movies Contact A lot of Jodie Foster in here and rightfully so 